Hello and welcome back to Biker Stuff. Continuing with my bike license series, today I will talk about the type of bike licenses there are. As you are probably aware, getting a bike licence in the UK is a lengthy task. But if you want it bad enough, as you should, you will have to work for it. The licences are AM is the scooter licence which you can get at 16 to allow you to ride a moped up to 50cc that cannot exceed 28 miles per hour. You can apply for this provisional licence when you are 15 years and 9 months. For this, you will need L-plates and a CBT to ride on the roads. <coughs> this is your first step into motorcycling. Unless you think this is as big and as fast as you will ever want to go on a motorbike, then this licence isn't worth taking because in a year you will be 17 and can move on to an A1 bike. However, if you are old like me and passed your car licence before the 1st of February 2001, you will already have this licence. Next is the A1, which is the first intermediate licence. For this, you will need to be 17 years and older. You can ride up to 125cc or 11 kilowatts and no more than 15 brake horsepower. You will need L plates and a CBT to begin riding this category of bike. If you wish to move up through your licences in stages, this is called progressive access. You will need to pass the test for this category of a licence. Then, after two years of riding on a full A1 licence, you can take the A2 test, which is Mod 1 and Mod 2. You don't need a CBT or theory test for this. Can I ask if you are new here and like what I do, please consider subscribing by clicking on my face down there. Then ring my bell so that you will get notifications when there is more to see from Biker Stuff. If you want to wait until you are 19 before taking any tests, then you can get a CBT pass your theory test and apply to take the direct access scheme where you will be taught to ride at a motorcycle training school and then you can take your Mod 1 and Mod 2 for the A2. You cannot learn to ride an A2 like you can with an A1 in your own time. You will have to take a direct access course. With your A2 licence, you can ride a motorbike up to 35 kilowatts, which is about 47 brake horsepower. Now it's time for the big one, your A licence. If you have held your A2 licence for two years, you can take your A licence by only taking the two practical tests mod 1 and mod 2. This test requires that you have a motorbike of at least 40 kilowatts which is 54 brake horsepower and be over 595 cc. But if you wish to go straight to the A licence without passing your A2 licence you can take a direct access from the age of 24 even if you have a full A1 licence. If you want to practice for your test on this size of bike, you can only do it if you are accompanied by a DSA qualified instructor.
I hope you have found this guide useful. In the next and last instalment, I will tell you what you should expect when you take your direct access. Thank you for watching. I know you liked it, so tell your friends, and I'll see you here next time on Biker Stuff. To subscribe, just click here. Then choose one of these to see more. Well, go on, press one.